Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to my watch channel that's all about watches. So this is a YouTube channel that's dedicated to my ongoing journey and fascination in the world of horology. Please do take note that I am not a watch expert. I'm just a guy who recently fell in love with watches and I want to document everything as I'm going through this insane, expensive, impractical, and crazy journey. And with that said, I just want to do a quick like, I don't know, on wrist review, or I just want to talk about my new watch. So this one is something that I recently got from Seiko. And it's called, let me just make sure I get the name right, the Seiko Presage Blue Moon Cocktail, reference number SRP B41J1. And this is one of the watches that when I saw in the shop, Man, it was just so captivating. The way the lights would, would dance around the dial, the construction, the shape, the size, the bracelet, the price, because it wasn't as crazy expensive as your typical luxury watch, made it really appealing. So this is the watch. It is an absolute stunner of a piece. It is one of those watches that looks unassuming from a distance. It kind of looks normal. It kind of looks bland from a distance. But once you take a closer look or once you get closer to it, you can't help but be intimate with the watch. That that, that sounded weird, intimate with the watch. But, but yeah, you just want to keep getting closer. You want to take a look at the small details and you just find so much inspiration in the creativity and the craftsmanship that was put into the watch. That's what I get with this piece. One of the best watches, in my opinion, that you can get for around 20,000 pesos or 400 to $500 here in the Philippines. Now, why is it called the Blue Moon? So apparently, this is inspired by the Blue Moon cocktail. I don't drink cocktails anymore, so I have no idea what that is, but apparently from the pictures that I saw, it's a blue drink. So <laughs> that's probably the reason why the dial is blue. And that's everything that's really super amazing about this piece. It's the dial. It's the star of the show. It's the main hero because, man, the way it, the light just really, you know, when it hits it, it reflects it differently from different angles. And the lines that, that come from the center exploding outwards perfection when it comes to a dial. The overall look and style, I believe, makes it a very versatile watch. You can wear it for work, you can work, you can wear it for play. I think you can kind of get away with it as a dress watch if you have uh, slightly bigger wrists, maybe 7.5 uh, to 8 inches, primarily because it does have like a little less than 41 millimeters. It's 40.5 millimeters in diameter. So if you have a slightly bigger wrist, I think it will work. It can even work well as a dress watch provided you swap out the bracelet uh, for like a leather strap. Now in terms of other features of the piece, just in case you're interested, it does have the 4R35 automatic with manual winding capacity movement of Seiko. It has a date display over here, a complication, and then it also has 41 hours of power reserve as well as a stop second hand function. It's 50 meters water resistant and it kind of has like a chunky crown over here along the three o'clock position but the great thing about the crown is they signed it so there is the logo of seiko over here as opposed to the more expensive limited edition blue captain willard which i recently did a review on with a blank crown this is like one of my pet peeves a limited edition piece with no signature on the crown it just looks so unrefined and boring versus you know putting some small elements like this so i think that was a big misstep with the blue Captain Willard. In terms of the crystal, it uses some sort of like box-shaped hardlex crystal. So it's not sapphire. So that's one point against it. Uh, but the, the shape is really something else. I mean, if you look at it from a, from a different angle, there's like a 3D thing going on, which makes it really nice to look at from any angle. And yeah, it's not too heavy on the wrist. It's just 135 grams, making it again, perfect as a daily watch. So if you are looking for like the perfect, smart, smart, casual, piece to go with your typical shirt plus blazer and jeans and, and I don't know maybe even sneakers every now and then or white shoes kind of look I think this goes really well and you can even change out the straps depending on your mood you can go with like a leather strap you can go with like a brown strap to make it a little bit more 
to you know pop a little bit now if you want one i'm not sure if they're still widely available here in the philippines i think they sell for a little over 22 to 23 thousand pesos but i did see in the official seiko shop over at lazada that there is a green version of this so if you want like a green dial uh, it's available there for around 23,000. I'll link it down below. You can also check out all the different Seiko boutiques, including one of my favorite multi brand shops where I actually got this watch from, which is at Tokyo. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick vlog for today. Uh, if you haven't seen my review of the blue Captain Willard, which is like a limited edition Seiko piece, I will link it down below. Watch it if you guys uh, want to watch more. Well, watch videos. With that said, peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.